These are the doors to our guest bedroom. This was designed in our house to be an office, so they put in clear doors. We want to give our guests a little bit more privacy, so I'm going to add window frosting film. The trick when you're doing a window with a lot of panes like this is to make a template. I cut this out of a paper grocery bag, and that's going to make it a lot easier to trace and cut out the perfect squares for my windows. So once you cut out your square of the frosting material, you are going to remove the backing. And this is a mistake I made when I first tried this. I didn't realize there was a backing. You almost can't feel it. One side is rough, the other side is smooth, but you wouldn't really know there was backing there, but there is. And it's kind of hard to get off. You have to really use your fingernail. All right, now we are ready to party. So you're going to take a spray bottle and fully spray down the panel that you are going to frost. Now while that's wet, place your cling and use a squeegee to get out all the bubbles. Now I like to cut my template just a little bit big for the window so I have a little bit of overlap. Then you can just take a cloth and kind of wipe the moisture off. Now I like to cut my template just a little bit big. I think it looks better. Some of the first ones I tried to make exact and I got little tiny gaps. So it's better just to cut a little big and then use your straight blade or your X-Acto knife to trim the excess. Once you trim off the excess, just take the squeegee and reattach it back in place for a nice tight finish. 